Happy Thursday. The first Thursday stream. What the fuck? Let's go. It's finally here. Uh, oh yeah, there's no sound. I have to put on the sound. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Uh, okay, so the music is over, I guess. Well, sucks to be y'all. Uh, I heard the music for the most. <laughs> so, yeah. Second for left, day to die for the second game of the Chromatos dev uh, in the Sucker for Love. I don't know. Franchise? I don't know. Hey, Yumi, good day to you. Happy Thursday. So, yeah, we will be playing Sucker for Love, day to die for the second, uh, the second game. We played the demo b way back when. Um, this game was supposed to release on Valentine's Day this year. And we wanted to play it back then, but it didn't came out then. So yeah, let's just head into the game. Okay, so we have one, we have two, we have three. We get the true ending chapter one and two to unlock. And get the true ending for chapter nine and nine to unlock. Okay, so we have four chapters. Cannot wait. The Thousand versus the One. Eldritch gods. Cosmic horrors. Things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. They are sequestered to the stars, appearing only through challenging, failure-prone rituals and unutterable incantations. Their twisted, fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows is in an obscure, imperceptible shade, but a tangible madman, that the vague prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. The simple hatchet in their hands. Did something scary happen? Nani? In the book you're reading, did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Oh, just a strange dream is all. I'm alright. Oh. Sorry, this might sound strange, but can you tell me where I am? You're in my bookstore, in Sacramento. Are you lost? Yeah, right, Sacramento. Right. Oh no, I think I know where I am now, thanks. I've been having odd dreams lately. Waking in strange places with no memory of how I got there. It started around the same time folks began vanishing from my hometown. Despite the small size of this backwater town, dozens have gone missing in the past year. So many that the trains won't even stop here now. Worried locals say they've spotted angry spirits prowling the woods. Animal with too many features, watching. Outsiders cannot shake the feeling of being watched by the town's folks unblinking purple eyes. The Sacramento Stare, they call it. Um, have you made a selection? Did you find a book to your liking? Um, is the volume alright? Or should I up the volume? I'm not sure because I... For me, it's okay, because I adjusted it before the stream. But yeah, if it's too low, let me know. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep you here so late on my account. No, no, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books. But it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you better hurry home. Home. My family fled this place long ago when the disappearances started. But a letter imploring me to come visit appeared in my apartment earlier this week. Yeah, sadly I cannot adjust the voice. Um, hold on. Okay. Let me... Let me up the thing even more, I guess. Hey, Stardust. I'm still pretty shaken up about everything, so I'm taking care of her at Grant's place. 
If you came by for a visit, I know it'd cheer her, her right up and help her feel better. We miss you like cra crazy. This is definitely my father's handwriting, and only my parents call me Stardust. Impossible. Mom, Dad, I know you're not really waiting for me. You've been gone for over a year, but whoever sent this note obviously wants me to come poking around, and I aim to find out why. There's something strange in Sacramento. The dreams, the stare, the spirits. It's all connected, I'm sure of it. Whatever darkness has settled in our neck of the woods, I'm putting a stop to it. Mom, Dad, I love you both so much. I get to the bottom of this. Thanks for letting me doze off. I promise I'll come back real soon. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. You know, I actually put the voice, uh, put the track all the way up. Hold on. Can I open this? Mm. The thing is, there was no volume control in this game. Okay, you know what? Let's go back to the main menu. Yeah, no. There's, there's no option for the sound, so I... I put it all the way up, so it's not good enough, I guess. Hmm... Hold on. Can I boost it otherwise? Let me see if I can boost it even more with a filter or something. That's not happening. Mm. Okay. Does it still? No, fuck off. Um. So it should be way louder now. If I need to readjust it, let me know. Okay, we, we need to start the date again, but that's fine. We're gonna skip through. Eldritch gods. Cosmic horrors. It should be Things louder. beyond our understanding. Maybe we be too loud? To oh. merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. It sounds a bit too loud, I think. Okay. There's... It's a bit loud now, yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna change the game then. There we go. Their twisted, fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. Yeah, the music is cool. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows is, this is an obscure, imperceptible shade, but a tangible madman. I can still lower it. That the vague prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. I think this should be fine now. The simple hatchet in their hands. Did something scary happen? In the book you're reading, did something scary happen? Because Does this work? A sheet. Also, hey Panda, good day to you. Happy Thursday. You're in my bookstore, in Sacramento. Are you lost? Okay, all good. Nice. Can we skip through to where we were? Uh, no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. The warm glow of the bookstore fades behind me as I step out into the dusk. Sacramento. It should be my hometown, but it has become unrecognizable. The streets are overrun with dense foliage and missing person posters that litter every surface. Hey, Chamber. Good day to you. What on earth are you playing today? This is Sucker for Love Day to Die For. This is a Eldritch hor Horror dating sim. Uh, it's the second game uh, of you know, traumatose death. So, yeah. Very exciting. We played the first one. 
And now we're starting the second one. I'm very excited about this. I'm doing fine. How about you? Happy Thursday. The streets are overrun with... The oh, oh, we got this already. They call this missing person lane. Desperate searchers put up posters here before vanishing themselves. It's the only path left and leads straight to my Graham's house. But something feels off. The familiar landmarks of my childhood are nowhere to be found. Have I gotten turned around? No. I've walked in a straight line, yet nothing looks right. Stay calm. I pick a direction and jaw, searching for anything familiar. Nothing changes. I double back, check walls and addresses. Still lost. Doing God just tired? I mean, being tired is normal, right? Everyone is tired. At a certain age, I guess. Maybe if I check the note from my parents for the address. The grocery received? Impossible. I just had their letter. I even kept my pockets empty so I wouldn't lose it. A chicken curry, fried chicken, cheeseburger, beer, water, ketchup, soy sauce, and other. Do you stream daily? Nope. We have two streaming days, uh, Mondays and Thursdays. Wait. This receipt has the exact, exact dimensions and folds as the letter. Could I have imagined the whole letter? No, impossible. I check the back and then double check the front. But the receipt remains just that. Cryptid should stream daily, honestly. Nope. <laughs> no pass. I, I will burn out faster than I could, you know. Nah, nah, that's not happening. Happy Thursday, mate. How are you? How is your glorious beard and your glorious glasses? I hope you're doing fine. I'll be lurking, currently having an intense conversation. Okay, and uh, I hope the conversation goes well then. But don't worry about it, thanks for the lurk. Something is very wrong. I have to get out, have to run, have to... Hey! Ow! Uh, are you like blind or something? Watch where you're going, Klutterama! Yeah, I used to stream, but now usually watch you guys. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the follow. Thank you. That's I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, how how uh, I'm, I'm interested. How did you find my stream? I cannot recall your name on other streams, I think. So, did you just, you know, browse the game or what's happening? I slammed right into somebody coming the other way. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you alright? I should have been more careful. Wow, she's really pretty. But what on earth is this girl doing wandering around Sacramento at night? If I would stream daily, I couldn't hold half his time for myself to play traumatizing video games and World of Warcraft. And I couldn't play Elden Ring, you know? Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me. I, re I remember this girl from the demo, by the way. We played, um, we played the demo a while back, so... We remember her, right? Yes, Sacramento. That's the story. Just render randomly was searching new games and found this one. Yes, this is the second game in the in the um, in the franchise, by the way. It just came out yesterday, so that's a rather new game. Sorry, I didn't mean to smack into you like that. I know it's not an excuse, but I was just in a rush. <sighs> oh yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? <sighs> yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. Wait, what? Your boyfriend? Yeah, you heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is mine. Yeah, you can keep him. Who the heck is Buck? Where are all these accusations coming from? Usually I design models and VTuber for my... Okay. I have a Discord, yes. Explanation mark Discord. I don't know anyone named Buck. Also, um, before you ask, I'm currently not searching for anything related to graphics. Um, you know, ju just so you can spare your breath if you are trying to find new people. <laughs> if you f try to find new customers, um, yeah, I'm have no interest there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, no, don't add me on Discord. I'm trying to keep the Discord like for real life people. I don't know anyone named Buck. Huh? Tell her to buck really? off. 
<laughs> don't know Come who on, Buck is. You're not like from out of town, are you? She's she's having the stare right now. Look, we can poke her eyes now. Poke, 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 poke. The stare, it's real. I turn my head down and briskly walk past her. She starts walking alongside me. Hey, look at me. I cannot let her see my eyes, no matter what. She will notice I don't have the sacramental stare. You can tell me. <laughs> Are you from here or what? I think she got a visual upgrade, didn't she? From the demo? She looks a wee bit different. And unless I'm mismemorizing. Saw this game in Marketplace video, nice to see this game again. Oh hey, welcome in Sammy Ballin. I didn't even know Mark made a video of this. is probably of the demo, right? Like way back when. The, the game came out yesterday, so... I live here. Oh yeah? Look at me really quick. This is bad. Even if I make it home, she'll know where I live. What do I do? Look at me. Poke. Poke. Boop. I freeze. Before I know it, I'm already sta staring straight at her. Yeah, it does lo look a bit different. <laughs> Bucky, hi. Got another one for you at Missing Person Lane. I break into a mad dash, running my hardest. Everything is a blur. My heart pounding in my ears. Can it dull out the sounds of whistles, shouts, and unidentifiable commotion coming from all sides? Panting and dizzy, I feel my body slowing down. But the image of my face on the next missing person's posters kicked my legs into action once more. This one is a lot more spoopy than the first one. I was like, yeah, it, it has really spoopy vibes. Yeah. I mean, we knew that. We knew that from the demo already. They are clearing up ahead. There's a clearing up ahead. If I can break their line of sight, I might find a chance to hide. As I near the turn-off, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end, or it's too dark to find my way, I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. Rounding the corner, I gasp. It's Grandma's house! Thank goodness! I dash up the path and burst through the door. It's very exciting. I'm really happy we're finally able to play this game. I hold the door shut for what feels, feels like forever as my pulse slows. The pounding footsteps pass by outside. I'm safe. For now. Hey, what's... I may just be standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my home. Like the warm, familiar place I grew up in is long gone. I cannot put my finger on it, but... It's dread. Why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? Hello? No response. Objective, find your upstairs bedroom. Okay. So the map is the same from what the demo was, but since I cannot remember anything, we're gonna go to every single room we can. Oh, right, you have to grab and... Okay, let's enter the door. I really like the mechanic of walk around this. I mean, it's basically a point and click, right? So... That's uh, most certainly going to be a jump scare, right? When you open the door. And there's gonna be, like, a super scary person on the other side. Fresh, dripping meat. I should avoid counting the number of legs. I like the 80s enemy style of this though. Yeah, it's really cool. I really like that. It's high praise from your mouth, Jules. It's really high praise from you. Okay. Unusually pungent spices. Pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon, to name a couple as I see. The air is almost suffocatingly thick with their scent. Anything else here? Nope. Oh. It looks like cooking oil, except it's a, in, in a gallon container. It smells like burnt hair and sulfur. 
the color is black as said, said too. Oh boy. What's that terrible smell coming from that fridge? I cannot bear to open it. Okay, so that was the fridge. So we, we're going to be back here soon enough because we're getting a quest from someone later on. At least if it's the same in the demo. Again, it has been a while since we played the demo. But, you know, I still have some memory of it. It's not much, but, you know. Oh yeah, we can open this one too, right? But we're not going outside just yet. Uh, I'm gonna move on here. The record of Lotus War. The old enemies also have the same art style and the side film green occasionally. Okay. Tribes, what a mess. The place has been turned upside down, but nothing is missing. Weird. God, I'm so excited. Looks like the triplets toys have been mostly untouched ever since we left in a hurry. Wait, you had to left in a hurry? Why, why is that? That's new. Okay, let's, let's go out. I want to explore before we go to the place where we need to go. Hmm, there's nothing here. So you have to bear with me for a second. Ugh. Okay. So there should be stairs now, right? Yeah, there we go. The upstairs. We're not going upstairs just yet. We check out the other part of the map here. Oh, that's the wrong way. I can read a map. I promise. This is the way. We decided to make pizza. Nice. Pizza is cool. When I'm grown up, I want pizza too. Yeah. Okay, nothing here. This is such a good vibe. I really love it. Oh, okay. Living room looks fine. Ish. That's good. Not everything is an absolute mess here. Oh no. Hmm. So that's problematic. That is really problematic. Um. Oof. Yeah. Her nails have the same color as yours. That's nice. Okay, this is the same room as on the other on the other path. Let's go to the basement. Ooh. Hello. Uh let's go down. I'm definitely not going down there unless I have to. Well Fine. Okay, now we can make a turn and go upstairs. So we know there's some stuff in the kitchen for us to... There's some stuff for the kitchen where we can do stuff later on. That's good. Is this the way to... Nope. Okay, we have to go this way. I forgot there was no door on this side. There we go. Uppies. Okay. The living room is the last thing we're gonna do. So... The bedroom, sorry. Oh, damn. A strange, slowly writhing pant. I feel sick from the smell. Various beauty products left on the counter. None of these are mine. Yeah. At least we have beauty products, I guess. Let's go to the balcony. It's nice having a, having a tub here. 
with a view, like if it's not, you know, haunted and stuff. Must be nice. You know, beggars can be choosers, I guess. Okay. Can we go in there? No. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh. Go into the hallway, ignore the first door to the left. Okay, this should be the door right, that we can go through. Free stuff is free stuff? Yeah, I guess. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're taking all the free stuff you can get, you have the same issue as I have with video games. Yeah, I have like a library of, um, I don't know, a thousand games or something on Steam and 90% of them are, are trash games. Simply because they are free. They haven't even, you know... I haven't even tried to play them. It's blocked from the other side by something pop. I cannot see clearly through the keyhole either. Okay, I guess it's time. Go to the bedroom. Let's go. My room. What on earth happened to you? This is called nonsense. Has someone been living in my house? The candles are still lit. Whoever's responsible was just here. But who? Why? This book isn't mine either. No title, no author, it reeks of death and decay. With trembling fingers, I open it to a random page. Seed the Blackwoods. Instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using remains of a goat and the beating heart of a human. Ah, oh, the everlasting curse of the gaming backlog, yeah. I need to get on playing the ones in my library too. You have a lot. Yeah, yeah, it, it just happens. Uh, give me just one second, I need to sip on my tea. Yeah, gaming backlogs are an issue. <laughs> Don't tell me about it. The beating what? I read and reread the passage, but it's plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. I'm drinking fruit tree, uh, like a fruit mix, like a super cheap one. I reread again and again, I disbelief, washing away more and more each time. This is not a joke. First, the stare that only the locals have, then the disappearances. Then, the supernaturally overgrown woods, and now this? The truth dawns on me. Sammy, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much, and welcome in. Sacramento has been overrun by cultists. All these missing people, my parents, they have not been spirited away by angry forest spirits. They have been abducted. And are next. There must be a way to stop this. I flip desperately through the book's pulsating pages, searching for anything that might help. Summon the All Mother. A ritual to force the Dark Deity behind this madness to physically manifest before me, binding her in a form that cannot di directly harm me. This is it. My chance to end this nightmare once and for all. To face the sinister goddess behind Sacramento's madness and put a stop to her evil. Whatever the cost. For the sake of everyone who suffered and died, I have to try. I'll bind this All Mother to a physical form and destroy her. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. Okay. So. Alright, okay. This is the same as in the last game with the candles. With the th drawing thingies. These herbs are enormous. At least ten times larger than normal. How the heck did they get this big? It looks like an idol of a goat. Only it has too many legs and too many eyes. It weighs a ton too. How'd this get up the stairs? I mean, at least it's not as, you know, dirty as in the other rooms and full of blood, I guess. You found the plant, mister. 
At certain times in conversation, this icon will appear, and you can spray the speaker with water. I forgot about that. <laughs> this will interrupt whatever they're doing or saying. This feature was primarily included in consideration of players who dislike being hit on by older women and eldritch abominations. But it has other users too. I forgot about the water thing. <laughs> okay. Let me check the books first. Seed of the Blackwoods. To seed the Blackwoods, combine the seed of a fruit-bearing tree, the offal of a goat, and a human heart, and bury the mass six feet underground. This will fail if this page is burned by uprooting. The Blackwoods will continue to grow and grow until the host planet is completely rooted. The Blackwoods cannot be exited once entered. The roots of the Black Woods spread into the minds of those who enter and cause drastic changes in behavior. Those seeking to destroy the Black Woods instead become compelled to worship it. Shush game, that's for what we're here for. Yep, we're definitely here for uh, Big Mama. <laughs> Only this could happen in real life too. Well, I mean... Sure. <laughs> okay, we summon the All Mother Rita. I have four heartbeats. Three are not mine. We cannot go home. Why can't I sleep? Why can't I die? I can't feel the I can't feel the roots. Like a thousand spiders on my skin. Everyone's rooted. Where have I gone? Look at that, Jesus. The water spraying thing. I mean you could do that in real life. I, uh, I, I don't know if your conversation partner would appreciate that, but, you know. You can do it at least once. The woods fatten themselves on us. The dead feed. Feed the woods. The living feed the woods. Whose blood is it, the, the tree bleeding? Jesus. I ate someone. Well, that's good for you. I'm, I'm happy for you that you ate. That's rather colorful for this book. Okay. Let's summon the Owl Mother. This ritual will bite the black goat to a physical form that cannot harm you. This person doing self care. <laughs> However, no contact with Eldritch Gods is completely safe. To summon her, do the following Douse any lit candles. Ensure there is an idol of the black goat present somewhere in the room. Have a plant mister with you. While facing a tree of the black woods, chant her name. We have the candles off, we have the statue, we have the mist thingy, we have the tree, so we can go. Oxan, Selva, Oscura. You dare summon me again? Have your pathetic lives not been extended long enough by my gift? Have your lusts not been sated? Must you continue to torment your goddess so? You had a visual upgrade. Two. I'm pretty sure. My heart pounds as an immense towering figure mater materializes before me. My head is splitting open. I cannot think, can barely breathe with this weight crushing down on me. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Roxanne, the Black Goat of the Woods, and you will rue this day. Madness given form, shredding my sanity with each second that passes. It's evil, ancient and endless, peering into the deepest parts of me that were never meant to be seen. Igolin, happy Thursday. Yes, Roxanne. <laughs> you may now begin PUBG. Nope, only if you spend the channel points for that. Dangerous ground, little lamb. Know that each time you summon me, my wrath grows. I'm pretty sure something else grows too, but I will make you move each second of agony. I'm terrible. Inflicted. Now, choose your next words carefully. What more could you possibly want of me? Speak! I have to banish her. To send her back before there's nothing left of me. But the words I need. Exactly, Goldine. But the words I need won't come. Did I really think I could face a power like this? 
Stupid, stupid girl. With the last shreds of my will, I cling to the thought of why I came. Why I dared this folly. I swallow bile in terror, straighten my spine, grab a candle from the floor and speak shakily. Hope you're still painless, sir. Yes, I am. I am absolutely painless and it's absolutely amazing. I'm here to stop you from hurting another soul. I am sending you back to the darkness you crawled out of, one way or another. Really? Uh, yeah? Oh, thank goodness. I thought this nightmare would never end. <laughs> um, aren't you supposed to be, like, trying to stop me or something? No, I'm into this. Get me out of here. My brow furrows as I stare at her, wordlessly. Isn't she supposed to want to, you know, spread madness and whatnot? Hey, Willy, good day to you. Also, since you all are here right now, um, if you want uh, access to my first Elden Ring video, uh, you might want to join the Discord. Just say, okay. You're confused. You are looking at, at Roxanne. This is Roxanne. Also, you're confused, Willy. <laughs> well, yeah. You want to be exercised? Banished. <sighs> yes. I'm rooted to your planet and cannot be removed without a human's aid. Is that so? I don't understand. You have so many followers. Followers that just tried to kill me, I might add. Can it they free you instead? Things have gotten messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. My followers have turned against me, and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. That's rude. Have pity on this old, tired goat and banish me so I can't trouble humanity any longer. Please. That's new too, no? I'm pretty sure that was different in the demo. Help me. I rub my temple. This is tricky. On the one hand, I came here to banish her. This corrupted forest is devouring this town. And who knows how much farther it'll spread if nothing is done. On the other hand, I have serious reservations about helping an average god to do anything. All of those missing people posters. She's responsible. She and her cult are pure evil. But for now, we want the same thing. Her god. This is not what we want, but okay. Alright. Tell me how to do this. Do I just grab any old knife and... If you talk to Lucas, make sure you say that rebending to a wolf to be a wolf from Princess Amadala's planet is pretty cool. You know, Lucas is streaming right now. You can tell it that to him yourself. So, uh, uh, I think that's the right word. There you go. You just hit? Okay. I'm not doing it now. Nah. Your mortal weapons can harm me, child, but they cannot stop me. But that book you carry, it holds the key to my banishment. Perform the rituals in order until you arrive at the uprooting ritual. That one will banish me for good. That rebranding confused me so much. I was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, rebranding does like first that. First things first. You will need a partner. I am a goddess of lust. So many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mate. Your heart's desire. Perform the spawn partner ritual on the next page. Perform the spawn partner ritual on the next page. Okay. Okay. I need to check. Uh, I just want to make sure that there's... There used to be secrets when you do certain rituals. Okay, spawn partner. Light the ritual candles. The color of the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comfortable. You mean Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> I mean... That would work, I guess. Have your choice of an aromata aromatic herb on your person. Aromatic. Aromatic. Pick a scent you find pleasant. Imagine your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you cannot put back. Okay. So. 
black, green, blue, pink, yellow. Hmm. Yeah, this works. Oh no, not the lavender. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with rosemary. I'm gonna go with rosemary. I don't want to hear anything about it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Irgendwas. Oh, hi. Hey, na? Oh, my. Wait, I, I can explain. Go ahead. Um. I've got nothing. What is wrong with my taste? <laughs> There's no need, There's to, be no need to be bashful. Oh, right. Especially after all that time you spent playing coy. Oh boy. In view of the circumstances, perhaps I will allow you to be my partner. That was easy. Really, is and that's okay with you, even though we just met. Well, it's sudden, and it'll be a long, long time before I could ever trust a human again. But I'm not exactly the god of taking things slow. I mean, that's Besides, fair. Besides, I already have a thousand children. <laughs> There's no harm in a thousand and one. I'm not sure about children, though. Wait, what are we talking about? Taking me as your partner? You have a wonderful taste, lady. <laughs> I thought you were talking about just being my girlfriend. You thought the two definitions of partners that a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning? Yes. There's three meanings of partners. What's the third? Cowboys. Uh, okay. You know what? Sure. Whatever. Why are you still joking around while standing so close to me? <laughs> you should be melting with desire. Being anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousandfold. All the lust is in chat right now. Is the thing. Oh, that's an easy one. A thousand times zero is zero. Wait. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yup. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? <laughs> yes, me sorry. <laughs> nope. And... You... You aren't with child now? No. You're going to die here. And there's nothing I can do to help. What? I thought we were trying to get you out of here. You're just not gonna help me because I don't have kids? It's not that I won't, it's that I can't. I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential. And I want a big family. The biggest family possible. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. Oh boy. Those that best serve that goal receive a fraction of my power. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans, rapid healing, Physical enhancement, and in some cases, immortality. And those followers are the ones looking for you. I have kids, take me. <laughs> you, on the other uh. hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable. No kids, no powers. What if I don't want powers or kids? What if I drained the life from your body? and then used it to fertilize my wicked soil until something that will give me grandchildren comes crawling out! I take an involuntary step backwards. Uh, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Are you alright? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm fine, don't worry about me. Also or not, let's move on to the next ritual so we can get you out of here, okay? Mm. Holy moly, that was freaking scary. What's so hot? She's really taking this hard. I'd better go get the stuff for the next ritual. Okay, what do we need? Okay, I'm gonna check again. Just making sure there's nothing new on the pages. There we go. What's the next one? The Episurian Feast. Collect the following. Meat from a living thing that died within the Black Woods. 
Milk of the Black Goat. Starboard 2% is apparently fine too. It's in the fridge. <laughs> uh, last year, receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. Blood. They meant blood. Please use blood from now on. Sorry. Okay. So, we need milk of the black goat in the fridge. Then we need blood and we need the meat. And red candles. There you go. Okay, back to the kitchen. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I press this cable. Uh, can we talk? We need to talk. So, these followers are kind of like jealous ex-boyfriends then. You want nothing to do with them, but they won't let you leave? Actually, yes. That's precisely right. They're like my exes. And using the same metaphor, if you try to date me, then my exes will hack you to death with farm tools. So it's basically um, Scott Pilgrim story. Just with thousands of people. I guess that last part wasn't a metaphor. Maybe I should get back to the rituals That's then. That's probably a good idea. Anything else? Hey, you're basically a god, right? An outer god, yes. Do these cultists have been bothering you? Couldn't you, I don't know, fight them? What kind of mother would I be if I harmed my children? Point taken. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I can't do anything to hurt my followers directly. Because never in my wildest dreams could I hurt a human. But maybe doing no harm isn't the same as doing good. If you cannot fight, how come you can just run away or hide on the moon or something? Because I lay roots wherever I'm seated. Goats have roots? My true form does. This goat form is merely one of my avatars, but my true form is actually all of the trees in the Black Woods. Your true appearance is just a regular old tree? A really sexy tree. Like a birch tree? Sexier. Like a willow tree? Sexier. Keep going. Like a cedar tree? A cedar. Cedar, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Less sexy. <laughs> Less sexy than a cedar tree. Okay. That's funny. Okay. We exhausted the dialogue, sadly. So that's about it. So let's just move on and do what she tells us to do. Uh, this way? We can always do the, the bad thing later, right? Uh, okay, now take a left. Alright, take the meat. I tear a hunk of meat from the hook. This should be what I'm wait looking for. It smells kind of strange. Is this beef? Or? Whatever. It came from, it was huge. Trees are sexy, you can ask every druid. <laughs> I should move on before I count the number of legs hanging on hooks. Mm. An unsettling amount of it. This is what the ritual calls for. Yes. Now we go to the kitchen, open the fridge. There's the fridge. This is the milk of a black goat. It just looks like a regular carton of starbrot strawberry milk with a label slapped on it. I guess the cultists would have had a hard time getting the real thing from Rox Roxanne. Now that their relationship has soured. No pun intended. It should be good enough. A chill just ran up my spine. Am I being watched? I have everything I needed. I need to get out of here fast. You know... Now I kinda wanna scout the area again. But I also don't want to waste time, is the thing. Let's just move on and make... Let's, let's do the rituals as far as we can. Why is it so slow? Jesus. There we go. Let's just move on. Upstairs. Turn around. Move on. Turn to the left. Hello. 
Can we talk? No. Okay, let's double check. We have the meat, we have the milk. And we have the blow. We have the red candles. Well done. Looks like you did everything perfectly. Impressive. Nothing to it. If all the rituals are this easy, I'll have you out of here in no time. <laughs> Perhaps so. I... um... I don't want to leave things as they are between us. Your life is your own. I'm sorry for losing my composure. Oh, that. I nearly forgot about that already. I'm a little surprised a literal god would bother apologizing to a human at all. I've given it some thought. And while you may be blasphemously abstinent, you're the only person in the world that can help me. You see, if you step within range of my woods, any desire you have that will lead you closer to me is amplified to such an intense degree that it's unbearable. And most of the time, it's lust. Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the Sacramento Stare and becomes a cultist. If you are brought into my woods for any other reason, you don't become one of my chosen thousand, and your desire will make you futilely search the woods for what isn't there. Mm. You'll forget to eat and sleep, and you'll search and search until you die of exhaustion and become fertilizer for the woods to grow further. That sucks. You're the only person to reach me without joining the cult or dropping dead. Thanks in no small part to the fact that you don't have lust to amplify. My only question is, if you're not here for lust, why are you here? Pull the received out of my pockets. <laughs> oh no. I came looking for my parents. They vanished somewhere around here a year ago. There seems to be a letter from them, saying they were here, in this house. But once I got here, it turned into a blank receipt and won't turn back. The woods have indeed toyed with your emotions to bring you here. That paper was likely never a letter from your parents, but the woods made you believe it was. I'm sorry. Shocker. So they're just still gone. <sighs> they were likely consumed by my woods no more than three days after they disappeared. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. The dust has long settled on my parents being gone. But the grief never faded. Eat. It'll give you your strength back. The woods won't let you feel how tired you are. I don't feel tired at all, but come to think of it, I felt like I was gonna collapse when I made it to the cells. I don't think I've eaten since I got the letter either. I take a few bites. And the tears abate. There, there. The tears abate. It'll be alright, Stardust. Oh, okay. Stardust? How did you know my parents' nickname for me? Anything that dies within my black woods becomes a part of it. A part of me. Their memories of you likely live on in me. You know... I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I guess that settles it. My parents really are gone. That's the only way she could have known the name. This isn't the kind of closure I was hoping to find here. But I came here to put an end to the disappearances. And that's what I will do. I hope this isn't an offensive question, but all the missing people and the people that came looking for them, you killed them all? It was never supposed to be like this. I came bearing gifts of safe childbirth for infant and mother, hungerlessness, disease immunity. But instead, my own worshippers tormented me until it broke my hearts. Now my woods are bloodthirsty, and I'm forced to watch innumerable die. But why? How could somebody do something like that? How could somebody have so much hate in their hearts? Because it's had an eternity to accumulate. What was that? It sounded like something breaking downstairs. Are they coming? Already? No, 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 no! I forgot, Roxanne is just as scared as I am. I need to be more careful with, with showing fear for her sake. It could just be the house. The place is old and rotten in some places, so sometimes the house shifts down on its own. I take a quick, a, a quick look around my room for the sturdiest thing I can find. It left my bass guitar untouched. I'll check it out. It sounded like it came from the kitchen. There's fucking combat? What? Oh my... What? Oh my... No? 
No. How about no? Um. Yeah, sorry, but we have to take our break now. <laughs> if you're new here, we're taking a break every hour. And, um. Do you know to stretch legs, go to the bathroom, get something to drink, yada yada. I will roll some clips. There will be no ads for y'all, but you know, I will be back in three to five.